I think the Arctic is something completely different to us. The Arctic is the ultimate other world on our planet. Since the 19th century, there's been immense artistic interest in the Arctic. When it was first introduced on the art scene, uh, it was because it was the archetypical sublime landscape, a vast, terrifying, beautiful place that we knew very little about. In the show, we show an ice core from the Greenland ice cap, cutlery from a lost 19th century expedition. We show explorer photographs by Fridtjof Nansen and uh, Andre. A story about how the Arctic was an important uh, strategic area during the Cold War. Amazing art installations to sort of reflect all of that. I, I love the idea that nature can execute the final result. The Arctic has such a sort of almost childlike fascination. We have a story about Superman and his fortress of solitude in the show. And of course, my son loves that story, but, but it's also something that tells us about how this landscape has been seen. This is the place where the strongest man in the world feels at home where he can be alone and rest. This is not a tribute to the West and the way we are in the world. I think there's a big part of the, the exhibition is very much about uh, criticizing sort of the idea of the, the white male hero, the colonization of the world. Every day, in the news, everywhere, you hear about the Arctic, both because we hear of climate change and also about geopolitical issues. Do we really take the responsibility for not doing what we could do, acting on the science in front of us? The Arctic tells us that something is changing at an extraordinary pace. Uh, it tells us that we are deeply implicated in this change. It also tells us that we're very bad at predicting. take home obviously is a much more nuanced uh, image of what the Arctic is. A bombardment of, I mean, images and colors, but also insight.